This is going to be the final video of the series. Um, I've had to cut it short because I've got some work to do, and so I haven't been able to do another video uh, taking you from the setup in Unity through the various things that I've done. Uh, maybe I'll do that sometime or maybe in another, in another series. Uh, at any rate, uh, there are five parts so far. And of course, we started off modeling a very simple cylinder, brought it into Substance Painter uh, to apply textures that somewhat resembled uh, the uh, Subnautica uh, base unit, ships, cylinders, whatever they were. Uh, went on to part two with uh, some more uh, texturing and doing the, uh, the front part here. And then in part three, you know, we got these sections done with some emission on there. In part four, uh, I did the hatch. And then in part five, I did the uh, original setup in Unity, which was really just bringing the FBX of the model in and getting the textures on the model. And since then, what I've done is I've done a small environment uh, terrain. I've got a few rocks, a few plants. Uh, I've got a water plane on top, uh, which I think might only be visible in one video. And of course, I've done various uh, post-processing effects. So I'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like. And here it is. Um, so there you can actually see the water plane. And it's a little bit low, as if maybe, uh, maybe they're, they're not sitting in very, very deep water. Uh, some of the plants I modeled, some of them are just prefabs. Um, from the uh, asset store, free ones, free rocks. Uh, I've got sort of a sandy texture down here, and I've got a, a, a custom sky and uh, various, you know, effects, fog and stuff like that. All right, so this is uh, what it's turning out to uh, to look like, and I've just got a few images uh, of the thing. I did not get to the point where I did the platform or or anything else. I have to leave it at that, but it definitely was. Uh, a fun project to do. Uh, here's another view, just a very gentle sloping landscape. Okay, and one more sh shot. Uh, with uh, nothing on the end, I realize, but uh, that's the way it goes. Um, it was a lot of fun. I really do enjoy the Subnautica stuff. I would like to do more underwater stuff, and I will, and I also want to do some more land stuff, and I think we'll do more work in Unity. Uh, even if we're doing like an apocalyptic scene, um, it's very simple to add various prefabs, rocks and plants and, and um, you know, debris and stuff like that. And there's lots of great processing, uh, post-processing we can do in there. And uh, ultimately, um, I want to be doing more of that because, you know, things are moving towards, you know, creating games and stuff like that. All right, so that's going to be it for the series. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you very much for following it if you did and sorry if i skipped a few things we're going to move, move on and uh, do do some more blender work as soon as i get a chance uh, i am interested in another kind of apocalyptic kind of scene um that's just uh something that i'm interested in also cyberpunk and uh, steampunk you name it <laughs> all right so we'll see what comes next i have no idea but uh there's definitely a long list right over here on my desk all right take care